Good afternoon. Here we are today with uh, Robert Seidel, president of the Essential Oil Company, and uh, we are here uh, distilling lavender. We've got the lid in place. It's nice and tight. Now we're ready to connect the steam to it. I want to make sure I have steam, so I want you to stand back a little bit. We might have some water come out first. There might have been water in the system. We have water coming out. It's been sitting there for about a month and a half or two. And now we've got steam. Okay. So now I'm going to connect the uh, quick release pipes to the steam. So that's connected there. Very simple, very secure. Now this pipe, I have a, a copper tube in it. And the reason I have a copper tube is because copper has a positive reaction with lavender or lavendin. It uh, mitigates the uh, sulfur compounds and actually makes a sweeter product right out of the distiller. Oh, I see what's happening. Anyway, so there we go. We got a nice... It's easy to put together. Very simple. Okay, now I'm going to turn the steam on. Hang on one second. I'm just going to open this valve here and I'll allow... What's going to happen is the steam's going to come in. It's going to have a little bit of water in it. The uh, retort is cold and that's going to condense more steam coming in. So what's going to happen is I'm going to have a bunch of water that uh, I don't want to fill this up with. And I don't want it to cover my uh, steam spreaders, which is where the steam's coming in. So I'll leave this open a little bit, let it drain while I'm heating it up. And now I'll turn it on. This is my pressure gauge here. You can see we're at uh, about a quarter of a pound of pressure currently. So I estimate it'll take uh, good 20 minutes to get this warm enough to uh, start distilling. And then probably another 20 minutes before we have breakthrough, which is where the first waters and oil come through. And then from that point where I have breakthrough, I'll distill for one hour. 70% uh, of the oils you distill come over in the first one third of your distillation time. So if you're gonna distill for, for an hour and a half, uh, the first half hour, you're gonna get 70% of the oil you're gonna obtain. So after that, you have uh, diminishing returns, and you have to figure out where where you're happy uh, in cutting it off. And if you have the luxury of having a lot of raw material, then uh, you probably cut it off sooner than later. If you don't have that much raw material, you probably cook the daylights out of it. So it's up to you how long you distill. You just have to know that after a while, you're, you're spending fuel. So you have to balance that with your yield and the potential return from the oil if, if you're going to sell it. Anyway, so now we just have to wait. Robert, could you tell us uh, a bit about the boiler? Yeah, what we have here is an 8 horsepower low pressure steam generator. It operates on propane. As you can see, we have our two propane tanks. This is, a, uh, this is feed water, which helps to feed water into the boiler so that we can produce steam. Uh, the water for the uh, feed water um, tank actually comes from the condenser. Uh, the condenser is uh, water that starts out cool but gets uh, heat transferred and becomes warm um, as it's condensing the steam. And that water is cycled back into this tank. And this water goes into the boiler and that uh, reduces the energy consumption by allow allowing you to fill your boiler with warm water instead of cold water. So it's a little more efficient that way. So what I'm going to do here is uh, turn on my feed water pump. As you can see, the water comes from the tank to the feed water pump. And I'll turn the pump on now. Now what's happening, the feed water pump is uh, adding water into the uh, boiler. We just filled up uh, with a new batch. So this is, uh, we're going to start from scratch. You can see we do have some pressure already. We've got three pounds up there. So the boiler won't, uh, the blower won't turn on and the boiler won't start until we relieve some of that pressure. 
In order to do that, I'm going to open up the valve on top here. And now we have steam traveling through this pipe. You can see this pipe here. It comes down along here up into this fitting. And as you can hear, we actually have water going through this valve right now, entering the bottom of our distiller. Tell us, Robert, how you um, gauge when the steam is actually running through the retort. Well, I do, uh, it's very simple, I do it by touch. And uh, this is stainless steel, and stainless steel heats unevenly. But I put my hand down along it, and I can feel where the steam is. It, it's a lot warmer. Periodically, I'll come over here and let some water out. Right now, it's not on, but you won't see it, but there'll be water in the system. I'll get the water out so the steam has easier uh, access through the steam spreaders. And, uh, and that's it. What I do is I wait until I feel it all along here. I can feel the progress of the steam up here. I can feel it along this pipe and into here. When I reach this here, I know in about five minutes I'm going to get some oil coming out of this fitting here. And what's happening is the steam's passing through the plant material, it comes up through this hole, into this pipe, and up into my condenser. So the steam is coming down into the condenser. The condenser is a series of tubes, vertical tubes. Uh, the tubes are surrounded by cooling water, and that's what condenses the steam. And when, it come, when the uh, product comes down here, it's now liquefied. The steam's turned back into a liquid, drips into my TP receiving can. And as you can see, we have some oil from the, from the last batch still sitting there waiting for us. And in a few minutes, we'll have uh, some more steam and we'll get this thing going again. Currently, uh, I lease it out, um, at least to Lavender Farms, uh, to universities for doing testing. I'm going to be doing a demonstration for um, uh, Tree Farmers, uh, National Association of Tree Farmers in uh, October. Uh, however, this apparatus is for sale. It's in great working order. Um, used, brand new, would cost you quite a bit because of the cost of stainless steel. Uh, if anybody's interested, they can call me at 800-729-5912 or go to my website, uh, www.essentialoil.com, and uh, fill out the contact information. Uh, happy to get back to you, talk to you about it. Capacity is 100 gallons, which will hold about 200 pounds of raw material, give or take a few pounds. And as an example, uh, one load of um, lavender, about 43 plants, can yield up to two and a half pounds of oil. So that's pretty substantial. You can have that done in, in an hour and a half. Uh, so if you have a lavender field, it might be uh, advantageous to have such an apparatus. If uh, you happen to be a group of uh, lavender growers, uh, this, this uh, distiller is portable. It's on a trailer, 20 foot long trailer, and um, can be taken to different farms. All you need is electricity and running water. Pleasure. Thank you from the Gorilla Distiller. <laughs>